Chiefs hosting Chargers. Uh, we are five and a half point favorite at 425 game. Uh, JD will be in attendance to celebrate Dante Hall getting in the Ring of Honor. Uh, Patrick Mahomes era, 7 2 against the Chargers. Um, I forgot what his uh, touchdown interception ratio, but it's I think it's like 21 to like six or something like that. But uh, JD, who do you have uh, in this game on Sunday? And do you think the Chiefs will cover the five and a half point spread? Uh, definitely. So I, I got right now, uh, I was looking out here because I had it on my notes. So I'm, I'm looking at uh, out narrow head 28 to 17. So I'm looking for, uh, you know, it, it's been close games with the, with the, with the chargers, a narrow head. Uh, we know that they're hungry. We know this is like a, a pivotal point for them. If they're trying to salvage the season, I hate to say that right now so early, but it's like, really like, okay, we haven't really had any success the past couple of weeks. We need to try to get one against the chiefs. Okay. And so, they are making sure they are reiterating this win we have to have. We got to have this. We got to play perfect ball against a very good uh, 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 defensive team, one of the best in the league, uh, coming into Arrowhead. They know, they know, man, it's a hostile uh, 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 territory. They know they're in our environment. And we know right now that we, one thing that we do, that we own the Chargers. We own them, guys. And so I think. Uh, the, the 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 score of the game. This is what I have: twenty eight to seventeen. That's that's it. Chiefs twenty eight to seventeen. So, yeah, I think. Um, yeah, I think we cover the spread. I, I mean, I, I think that loss to um, and you, you can make an argument they should have had a couple of heartbreaking losses. They should have lost to the Raiders, um, as well. But uh, that that loss to the Cowboys, man, I think that might kind of ring with them a little bit. Short week too, only a Monday to, to Sunday game, going from a home loss to now playing in the uh, KC twenty eight seventeen. I mean, all, I guess the thing too, man, all these division games are so close, especially with the Chargers. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be that. It's going to be. But but look, the, the Cowboys is a very good team. They knew it. They they was underdogs. They you know they wasn't supposed to win that game. So that's the thing about it. Um, yeah, uh, so t- you had 28-17. Uh, Vegas has the total points for the Chiefs on a Sunday, uh, 27 and a half, J.D. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. Look at you, man. The bookie right here. <laughs> oh. Um, yeah, I'll say um, I'm going to go, yeah, I'll go 28-21. I think they cover the spread. I think we win by a touchdown. So very very close to what, what you got what you got going on. Uh, total points for this game is 48 and a half. So, yeah, I think I have it just slightly, slightly over 28-21. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, comes down to the last possession. Chargers are de- desperate, and we just aren't. Ooh, we got some doubters in here. And I don't know if that's a Chargers fan or a Chiefs fan saying that. What? What's that? What are they saying? Uh, that guy's the guy says comes down to the last possession. Chargers are desperate, and we just aren't. Uh, yeah, we we're not desperate. Uh, but we are a championship team, and we understand who we got coming in here. Uh, so. I would say maybe some of the desperation and concern is on offense. So they're going to be attention to detail and we got to score points because we know, look, that's the thing about it, man, with their defense, they got a great defense. They do. They got, they got some, they got some names over there on the other side. So we got to make sure we do a great job against this defense. Uh, So I wouldn't say, you know, chargers are desperate. Yes, they are, but we're not, we're not going to look past the desperation. Sometimes being desperate to put you in positions, uh, that may not be ideal for you. Uh, and so I think the Chiefs will be focused. I think they need to be focused up. Um, and I think this is the one where we're looking for offense to to do some things. This might be the week to turn these things over, okay? Uh, but these guys, they're, they're going to be ready. They're just going to be ready. Uh, I don't think it's going to be as close. Like I said, 28 to 17, they, they might get a touchdown toward later on. Uh, but, you know, without Mike Williams and some of the things that's been going on over there, um uh, it's uh, it's it's gonna be a tough game, but I don't think it's gonna be that close. Yeah, and also too, you're talking about desperation. I think for being a five and one team, and you kind of mentioned it, our offense just hasn't looked good at all, and and they they know it. They know there's a lot of doubt on them. Just coming off the 19 to eight win against one of the worst defenses in the league, we didn't put up numbers. Our red zone offense looked atrocious. I think we have a lot to prove. May not be desperate, but we have a lot to prove, especially the offensive wise. Um. And yeah, I, I just think that this would be, and also a little mini buy with t- ten days to game plan for this game. So Andy Reid with more time to prepare and cook up something on offense. I think 
yeah, I think we have I think we have a lot to prove. May not be desperate, but we have a lot to prove, especially offensively. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. So we'll we'll, we'll see what that's gonna look like. Um, you know, Kelsey's gonna keep doing his thing. Uh, and so if you have where they are doubling Kelsey up, they're gonna try to make sure. Uh, then we'll try to make some isolation plays on some guys on the outside. And I think Pat is gonna give these guys some chances opportunity. And we're hoping that the that Rasheed Rice continues what he's been doing. Uh, and also, too, start seeing some more guys starting to step up a little bit more on the offensive side of the ball. Tony, Sky Moore, and then we're looking for Justin Ross to come in and start doing some things. And, hey, guess what? MVS may have three catches for, you know, shoot, 80 yards. I'm looking for that game. I am. Hey, <laughs> what do you, you want to say? All right? I'm, I'm, you know, I'm optimistic. I'm, a, You know, that's what I like. I'm an optimistic guy. Okay? So, MVS, show up. Come in with your sunglasses, fur. I don't know how you do things, how you get yourself ready. Uh, but do what you need to do, man, to come in and 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 put all these doubters to sleep. How about that? Okay. Get them off your back. Get them off your back, big fella. Or just a Ross breakout game. Just a Ross <laughs> breakout game. I'll take either one. How about that? I'll Me take too. either one. Right. <laughs> this could be a great game, though. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out the best clips from Chief Concerns. And if you prefer to listen to the show, subscribe and follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and anywhere else you get your podcasts.